welcome you to the 2024 Army, the Area 3 Army Emergency Relief Campaign to kick off. For more than eight years, AR has been a conduit through which soldiers provide financial support to their fellow soldiers. The annual campaign starts today and will run for three months ending in May. AR is the only fundraising authorized Army wide. The campaign's purpose is to fully inform 100% of all active duty and retired soldiers and their family members, to include spouses and children of deceased soldiers, about the types of financial assistance available from AER and provide the opportunity for soldiers to donate. This year's AER model is supporting soldiers and their families since 1942. The campaign runs from March 1st to May 15th. Last year, the Army raised over $80,000 in donations with approximately 700 donors. Our aim this year is to raise at least $100,000 and increase the number of donors by 10%. We'd like to welcome Sergeant Alan Quintana to the podium to share his experience with receiving assistance with the Army Emergency Relief. Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Robin M. Moore to the podium. 
beginning to speak on the importance of the AR program. All right, I'll try to be quick. First of all, I want to thank uh, ACS and the AR team for putting this together and, and help driving this. Uh, a lot of this campaign's uh, the success of it is going to what we already did in terms of preparation and training and getting everybody on orders and through training. Uh, so I appreciate the team's uh, efforts on that. Uh, activity doesn't equal achievement. Means yeah, we've got a table set up here, we've got microphones, we're gonna play some music, we're gonna have a good time. But have we achieved anything in the end? So I would ask each section, unit, um, whatever type of organization you're in to set a goal for what you want to have in terms of the number of participants. I think the Army's goal this year is 10%. Last year they only did 6%. So if you think about that, you know, if you're in a company of 100 people, um, only six people donated out of 100, that's, that's not real good. So, um, I ask you to set a own personal goal with your organization to do this. I also thank the, the, the team here um, for coming and speaking um, openly about the fact that they use the services in AR. You've seen a real life example of that. So, again, uh, thank you for being here. Um, but this activity is not the achievement, the achievement is more than action and donate. So, thanks.
hung up the boots, but he's still wearing his hat. It's pretty powerful and meaningful to me when we see that, you know, our former SMA is taking this on from the army. Which says a lot about his character. I think it also demonstrates an understanding that this is about soldiers helping soldiers, right? So thank you very much for attending. Uh, these are fake $100 bills that they put out. Uh, and they do not count as a donation. <laughs> but really thanks to the entire AAR team and, and all that you've done, not just to take care of soldiers and families, but to assist us with today. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the final portion of our agenda. Now Lieutenant General Burleson and Command Sergeant Major Bulmer will sign the A Form 4908 AAR donation form and then proceed to the gate.